Hi, I'm James Schilling. Well, I'm here at the Lotte New York Palace. Uh, it's a hotel I've been to several times, but I came back to see what's going on lately. I've been here for a couple of performances and stuff like that. But I'm here with Rebecca Hubbard, or Becky Hubbard, mm -hmm. who is the general manager here. And Becky just gave me a marvelous tour of all these really incredible suites at their top. And we're going to talk to Becky about that and a whole lot more. We're just sitting here having breakfast. You can hear in the background in the Villard room, which is a marvelous room uh, in part of the Villard mansion, which fronts the hotel. So you're going to hear about uh, that and more on Insider Travel Report. Becky, first of all, great to meet you and uh, great to see this hotel again. It's been a, a while since I've been here, so thank you very much for allowing me to come back. Of course. Thank you for coming. It's been a pleasure having you. Yeah, and so we went just did a wonderful visit. Now, first of all, talk a little bit about the history, because it was how many years ago that Lotte came in and, and rebranded the hotel, but recognizing that you have a legacy here that is just so long. So how, how long ago did Lotte came in? So Lotte actually purchased the hotel in 2015 and um, have we been uh, here at the palace uh, since now we've done a lot of renovations refurbishments yeah we're going to talk about yep. those because you've got a lot of suites that you've done and everything else yep. and it's really looking yeah. marvelous and you're still working on some of it for the Lillard mansion on the exteriors uh, which you might see if you go if you got, walk up Madison Avenue which includes this building but talk about the history of this yeah. place overall because the Villard Mansion, of course, was the famous uh, mansion uh, for yes. the family there. So they, yeah, I mean, when Lotte purchased it, they knew that it was a crown jewel in New York and really part of the fabric of New York. The Villard Mansion, built in 1882 by Henry Villard, a railroad magnet and um, also a journalist, okay. and really just has a plethora of historical spaces. Yeah. Uh, artists like Augusta St. Gaudens, Louis Comfort Tiffany, have been featured in this mansion as you're seeing as we sit in the um, uh, our restaurant here um, in the and this, gallery. This, right, and this is this is open for breakfast. It's yes. it's a great place to have mm -hmm. breakfast. Uh, and and all you all you really use the pub, the rooms that were for part of the Villard Mansion. I know I've been to a magic show that you have yes. here. Uh, Steve Cohen, a marvelous guy. We've actually interviewed him uh, on Insider Travel Report. And then you have another wonderful uh, uh, taste with the whiskey tasting room, right? Yes, we want people to experience the rooms as they were in the Gilded Age. And so you know because the building is landmarked, we really keep them as they were when uh, someone would have walked in them in 1882. Right. And and um, so, yes, we have Rarities, which is our fine wine and spirits uh, lounge, and you can get uh, something that no one else has in the world. Maybe there's a, you know, a few bottles left, and we have one of them. <laughs> I know. I was you were, you were pointing it out. I actually interviewed the magician in that room. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's the Gold Room, which is fronts this, this the yes. Ballard Room, which is a wonderful bar, and where you can get some light bites to eat as well, right? That's right. So the Gold Room, uh, we do turn-of-the-century cocktails. Uh, we do... Uh, light bites um, that you can have in, in the beautiful music room that once was as you can see the gilded ceiling that's arched and uh, the balcony where you know there used to be music played above and people would dance below and so really the space feels like you've stepped back in time well and then you have two parts of the, the rest of the hotel one is the tower Mm -hmm. uh, we're thank you on staying there. It's wonderful. <laughs> and how many rooms are in the tower? So there's 176 rooms and suites in the towers. Okay. And then in the palace, the main part of the hotel has 733 rooms and suites. So you've got quite a large, a large uh, footprint here. A total right? of 909 rooms. Wow, that's but, amazing. Yeah. You know, the, I've stayed in both places over the years, but mm -hmm. I haven't stayed here for about nine years, as we were talking about earlier. Uh, and actually, the, the tower is where we were just examining and mm -hmm. taking a tour of some of the suites. So talk a little bit about those suites suites because you started with the champagne suite right yes so that's part of our royal suite collection and we have gorgeous rooms and suites in that collection uh, some that go from large to larger to just unbelievably ridiculous space. well you had the three champagne but <laughs> then you showed me the what was yes. the second suite? so i showed you the champagne suite first yeah. and then uh, we went to the penthouse suite where it has a private elevator that was all like a slum i don't know yeah, what are you talking about <laughs> oh my god the, the views from that place all of the views are incredible Incredible. Yeah. They're way up on your one of your top floors, yeah. right up above 50, right? See out to the ocean in in one of the penthouses, and so um, yeah. So penthouse, so penthouse, champagne, and what, what was the third one? And then our Skyview Suite. Skyview. Skyview Suite. You can see river to river. 
and it has a beautiful space. It can be a three bedroom suite and you really have just uh, areas of different living areas as you go throughout, uh, spaces to relax, spaces to do business, spaces to exercise, to sleep, to enjoy. But the best thing is to wake up to the view of, oh, of yeah. the rivers. And they're amazing views. And even on the, 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 your standard rooms, which I've always said are some of the biggest in New York City. Yes. Um, you know, the footprint of a standard room for you is pretty good. I mean, honestly, it's, it's really... Uh, uh, incredible and, and incredible views too. Thank you. Yes, that's the thing is is the way that the palace has been set up it really doesn't feel like a 909 room hotel because you have that historic space you have the lobby areas we have event space but um, the rooms like like you said in the towers uh, were built back in the 1980s and so that space still exists today right, right. Now, how long have you been general manager here I've been the general manager here for eight years wow. I've been here for 12 years so you, you've seen the, all the changes with the new owners and everything else, and now they have some capital and they've, they've actually come in and they've done... Well, how much m money did you put into the hotel? It was quite a lot. We put $140 million into the renovation when we first did it and then continue to invest into this beautiful property as we go forward. We just renovated the spa, as you know. Oh, the spa through. was amazing. And, and you talk about, you know, mm -hmm. if you don't want to work out in your suite, you can certainly, there's a few places to work out there <laughs> with some incredible views, I believe, of St. Patrick's. Yeah. Yes, Cathedral, right? yes, that's the best thing is when you go to the fitness center, you can see straight on to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Um, we actually also do a great partnership with St. Patrick's where we can give you private tours of St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's uh, something that no one else um, has access to in the city. Um, but if you uh, book through our concierge, they can give you tours of spaces that you've never seen in St. Patrick's that Cathedral before. That would be before. amazing. So you can do these special experiences yes. and you're right next door to that. That is cool. Yeah. That really is cool. Now, um, you talked a little bit about the FMB. So basically, we have breakfast here at the Ballard Room. You have the Gold Room, which is the bar and light bites. Mm -hmm. And then you have rarities, which is for very rare tastings. Uh, and then I believe you also have we, some breakfast, too. So we do. Know. We have in-room dining service. Okay. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we have 35 square feet of event space where, right. you know, you can do anything from, you know, large corporate meetings to uh, beautiful weddings to bar mitzvahs. Um, lots of celebrations happen in those rooms. Um, in the ballrooms and um, and event spaces. And you know, there there really are some gorgeous places. Yeah. And, you know, not just yeah. in, in the old mansion part of the room, in which I've, I've gone to a lot. It's beautiful outside and inside. Now, um, so, so basically that was the renovation part of it and all the things. Now, you also have to talk about the key location here in Midtown. You are in the center of it all, right next to St. Patrick's, right near... Uh, on Madison Avenue, of course, mm -hmm. and right near Fifth Avenue, That's right? right. I'm right in the center of it all, near Rockefeller Center. Um, really, I love the palace because the way that uh, guests can travel here is you can choose to participate in everything, all the world-class offerings that New York City has, theater and, show, or, and shows and dinner, but also you can really retreat to a beautiful suite and, and kind of watch from above, right? You may never have to leave the hotel if you do dining and spa and, and uh, just sit and watch the views from above. No, and that's that's the great place about this. And also, it's very quiet, surprising. You know, in New York City, you think it's going to be noisy, but the, the rooms are well soundproofed. Oh, good. And, uh, you don't even, even you know, it, it has been amazing. I mean, I have come, been coming here for years and uh, watched as you've renovated it now, and you now have, as going forward, it looks like you're going to have a great, great, since you have your new backers with Latte, and that's amazing, you know, what they're going to do. Yeah, they've been very excited to be able to really kind of introduce their brand into the United States through the palace. What better way is there to do? Because, um, you know, the palace is a gorgeous hotel. Like you said, the location is just second to none. And and really, um, to be able to have this crown jewel in the center of Manhattan has been... It's so, so important. It is a classic property. And people also know the history. Beyond uh, Before Latte, we had Leona Helmsley, who ran the hotel. Uh, who, who, you used to have a bar uh, uh, called... Uh, Troubles Trust. Troubles Trust, which is still there, but right now it's, it's closed. Mm -hmm. I don't know what plans you have for it. There, but it was a great little bar, and it had all these cocktails on it, uh, named after her dog. Her dog. And 
uh, you know, you probably, people remember her well in New York as one of the sort of icons of real estate and everything else, and her, her husband. So this was one of her baby. This was her, her, oh. her project. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we consider ourselves, the caretakers of this beautiful hotel. So to make sure that it's, the you know, kept in amazing condition, kept, um, you know, true to its landmark status, uh, really um, love to be the innkeepers of this beautiful place. And you certainly are doing a good job at it. Now, what's your background in terms of, you've been here 12 years, and where were you before that? Yeah, so I've been in the city for 25 years. Right. Um, really came from a small town in upstate New York called Seneca Falls, home of women's rights, and <laughs> um, have always wanted to be in the hotel industry since I was five years old. I served my parents little cocktails in the parlor of our um, of our house and uh, and came here to New York City and really just worked my way around New York City. I was at um, places called Manhattan East Suites, which are Affinia Hotels. I, I then went to Starwood, which was Sheraton and the Essex House. I worked for Ritz-Carlton Hotels. I opened um, the Trump Soho, which is now the Dominic Hotel, right, right. and then came here 12 years ago to um, really be uh, overseeing the renovation and just loved it and stayed here ever since. Well, it sounds like you've been staying here a while. I know you live in Manhattan. And I it's, do. Uh, and it's, it's not too far away for you. So this is, and you have such a wonderful hotel to take care of here uh, as we head into into the next 10, 15, 20 years. So uh, hopefully you'll be here for a long time to come. And yes. uh, we'll see. Now, is there anything else you want to tell? We go out to about 110,000 travel advisors here in the U.S. and a little bit in Canada. Uh, anything else you want to tell them about this particular hotel? Well, I think, you know, the best thing to say to travel advisors and to guests all over is that New York is open for business. Um, we really look forward to welcoming people back into the city. Um, you know, in, in terms of, of the palace, there is a little bit of something for everyone here. And whether you're traveling on business or for leisure, um, you know, it's exciting to be able to experience something that has this location, access to many places, but also the historical aspect of of the mansion and to really be able to delve into the history um, that has become the fabric of New York. Well, it is, and this is such yeah. a marvelous, it, it, there, I, I can't think of any other mansion on Madison or Fifth Avenue that is still around like right. this one, this one. And uh, I mean, if you want to know the history, this is also this this room we're sitting in now, the, the large room also served was Le Cirque for a while. Right. Uh, and they, they left a few years ago, but it's now a great place to have, as we said, there are people here having a great time having breakfast. So that's a, we're, we're like two tables left here, but, they're, uh, but uh, it's been great. Now, where can travel advisors go to get more information? Uh, about uh, the hotel. Oh, please visit our website at lotenearpalace.com. That's the easy one. Uh, Becky, I want to thank you very much for giving me the wonderful tour. Uh, one of the suites I remember back I'd seen a few years ago, but the other ones I had not seen, the sky view and the penthouse I had not seen. And it really is marvelous to be back here. As I told you, I've, I've been here a couple times to go see the sort of magician in residence, Steve mm -hmm. Cohen. We've interviewed him before. And if you haven't been there, go to the show. I know you've seen Absolutely. it. It's a uh, fantastic show. And it's amazing to do that. And you're not too far from Broadway. You're not too far from anything in New York. So again, thanks so much for taking the time to give me the tour and for this interview. Of course. Thank you, James. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.